Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight we got the Mataminko MT18X. This is running off the SFQ43 LEDs and 21,000 lumens. That's what I'm excited about. Um, I pre-ordered this guy. Uh, this actually came in, I had this now for about two weeks and I haven't even, I just left it in the box. I looked at it. I didn't even put no batteries in or nothing. I was waiting on these. So I want to basically hook this light up with these glow tubes, but these are ridiculous. I'll get into these in a second, but I'm definitely excited about this light. Um, before we talk about that, um, this is the previous version. Um, this is Astrolux, but the Matamiko one would be the MT18S. Same exact light, same colors. They come in. Um... I got the Molly cells in this, and with the regular Astrolux, I was getting up to 10,000 lumens. I was kind of disappointed in that, like, you know, it's supposed to be 15,000, but with the Molly cells, I'm getting, like, almost 14,000, 13, some, 13, 8, 13, 7, whatever. I'll show you guys when we put it on the lumen tester. I'm going to take this outside against this, too. But um, also, too, this has 18 ST20s in it. Um, and against them, these are new to me, SFQ43 LEDs. So, yeah, let's get this open. I'll show you guys uh, some extra. I'll show you guys a manual. It's supposed to be... Um, I think 190,000 candela, so like almost 900 meters to throw. You can also use it as a power bank, so that's cool. You couldn't do that with the, the older version. Um, it's IPX7. So it should survive them sprinkles. And Andrew. So. Check it out. This thing looks futuristic, man. It is a cool looking flashlight. Out of all my soda cans, definitely by far the best looking one. I did get this with the handle, so I'll put that on and show you guys what it looks like. It comes with a green lanyard, too. It's a nice looking lanyard. I might use this for something else. box out the way check this out look at that this thing is gorgeous get some comparisons it's definitely bigger like I said this would be the the MT 18 s if it was the um, Mataminko Mataminko makes Astrolux lights same exact versions, just different name. Even down to the colors are the same. But, yeah, we'll get you a close-up of these. Look at that. This is gorgeous, though. Of course, I got the auxiliaries in the back. This has them, too. But I just don't have no batteries in it. Go ahead and get them in there. A lot of tritium slots or glow sticks or whatever. Just up 20 or 22 total. <laughs> That's I. That's why I wanted to lace this up. I seen a picture. This was gorgeous with all them at night. You know, it has to be dark, of course. Um, tripod light, and this also is a um, power bank, and you can charge it. Where this one has no charge, and you have to charge your batteries outside of the flashlight. All right, let's check out the springs and all that. I actually know what. Well, I'm gonna put this handle on. Um, the light was one one oh five when I bought it, you guys, plus ten dollars for the handle, so I paid one fifteen. Um, I'll show you AliExpress. Look at here. Now the these um, glow tubes are five bucks. 
and then the smaller ones i guess for these spots up here are 390 that's crazy you gotta you know do the math 22 times five and four that's that's the cost of this flashlight but uh yeah you can get it um with all these different ways i would i'd get your own batteries actually these are samsung um what does it say on there you can you can pull it up pull the picture 30 t's 21730 t's huh same color as the molly cells but yeah that's on aliexpress let me get this handle on real quick let's see what it looks like put some batteries in it put it on the tube and then we're going to take it outside all right so the handle's on there nice and snug that's what it looks like with the handle I like these soda pop can lights, especially because they produce so much power. And these really excel if you're only using like 1500 to, I'd say 5000. As long as you got them calibrated, these, they're, I mean, of course, a turbo um, is a good way to run them. But if you run them from factory set and that turbo drops down like mad. I'm going to do a video, you guys, on, you know, I'm just going to show you through the lumen tube how they drop on, you know, uncalibrated versus calibration and i'll show you some other little tips all right so um let's where am i gonna we're gonna run we're gonna get the we're gonna start with the molly cells we'll start with these one these are fully charged and the samsung's are fully charged and this does take three 21700s and this takes four um 18650s I didn't even show you guys. I'll look at the springs right now too while we put the batteries in. Gold plated double. Whoa, them are stiff. I like that. Definitely like that. Um, um, I guess with that little bar you gotta line up. I don't know how this camera on my phone. Let's see what the other side looks like. It's a gorgeous light. How oh, this really uh Oh that thing is stiff too. Yeah, that's okay. Molly cell, the P42As. Oh, you can feel them springs wanting to pop up. Jeez. Some stiff springs. Got power. Oh, it just went green to blue. It does have accelerators. I think they're already set. All right. Um, actually, we're going to calibrate it real quick. So, one, two, three. And one, two. The sunset. And one, two. This should be beacon. Yeah, it's a beacon. And then one, two. Okay, now we're in a temperature. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four. That's the first setting. I 
do mine just one Celsius or whatever <laughs> the lowest setting you can go. Second one, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so that's how I, this one is calibrated. Okay, so first we're gonna, um, let's, we're gonna run this one on the meter first. Just to show you, um, like I said, when I, with the other batteries, I was getting up to 10,000 lumens, which is still, it's, you know, I wasn't, a little upset but um with these batteries now we'll see let me, oh, let me make sure we're in here guys i'm sorry okay Let's see what we get that button's stiff on there too that's a, um i kind of like that though all right yeah wow this button's way softer um 13.8 <laughs> that's cool uh, wow 13,000 times 10 you guys Thirteen six, <laughs> yeah, that is um, thirteen thousand over thirteen thousand. I'm very impressed. And batteries are definitely all right. This is it right here. We're gonna see what this is. Um, I'm hoping as long as it's definitely over the Astro Lux, the MFO one S. I'm hoping for nineteen twenty thousand. Um, I got Molly cells in it. We're going to try the Samsung's right after it. So, these are in line. Actually, it's only three of them, so put one back. Alright, this button is a little harder, so I got to come over here, guys. Um, here we go. Here's first level. Jeez. It's times 10 <laughs> already on the first level. Okay. Here we go. Turbo. Oh man, I messed that up. This button is really stiff. Oh, 16, over 16,000. Ah. Okay, try it again. Oh man, I'm doing it too slow. Hold on. I think I can do it like this too. That wasn't it, that was just high mode. And one more time. There we go. Yeah, that's a, uh, with them batteries, it's 16,000. All right, wow, so that's 5,000 short with good batteries. That's still 16,000 moons, nothing to sneeze at. Let's try the Samsung, see what we get. Okay, here we go. Samsung, don't let me down. The same thing, 16. Looks like Samsung's a little stronger. I guarantee you if I um, didn't uh, calibrate this, you guys, that would be dropping so much faster. Give it one more shot. So, yeah, 16,000. Uh, I'm not mad at it. No. I mean, I'm more impressed with the Astrolux with them batteries, that's for sure. But um, they do, uh, I think Panasonic and uh, Sony, they got some 
some good cells too. I'm not sure if they're better than these ones, but I'm gonna get them eventually. Just so I want you know all the best batteries and see which one's the best according to them, the calibrator. But yeah, we're gonna take these outside, you guys, and we're gonna do some side by sides and see what they look like. All right, you guys, we're out here. You see, it's pretty dark. We're gonna see what the the M. T18X can do. <laughs> wow. This was, oh yeah. Some trees. Let me see if you guys can see them. I can see them. About 300 meters back there. Jeez. It just blows that whole line. Wow, this thing is powerful. <laughs> this is insane. This is definitely worth 105 bucks, you guys. If you want the handle, it's 115. Um, let me get the other one. So this is um, this is the MT18X, and this is the I'll just say Madame Inc on the Astrolux. Astrolux is a 15,000 one. We'll see what that looks like. There's still no slouch either. Wow. Love these lights, man. These lights are, because they got them tripods on them, you guys. You can put them on this tripod I'm using right now. And if you're working on your car, like I said, these excel 5,000 and under. They just last for so long. All right, I'm going to put the Madame Inc on with it. Oops. Jeez, this button is stiff. There we go. Jeez. They both just hog up all the room. It's Madaminko is on the left and Astrolux is on the right. But you just, <laughs> this is crazy, man. These lights are crazy. I, I honestly, too, you guys, just being honest with you, these are good self. I sleep with one right by the side. Actually, this one. If you know what I mean, if somebody comes in your spot and you got this next to your bed and you just hurry up and slap it in turbo you're gonna blind the shit out of them good self-defense yeah um it's cold out here tonight but yeah this this uh this one's getting hot i'm gonna grab it by the handle so is the um this one's holding though this one's holding real nice Yeah, that's what it looks like with the handle. Need no heat with the handle. You can see it dropping a little. Let's see if we can get the turbo back. I'm just, I'm, I'm holding it. If you guys can see, yeah. If you grip it hard, it'll get hot. But it's still, it's not. Um, it's a stiff button though, but I think that's a good thing. Jeez, this thing is bright, you guys. I'm just lighting up this whole... It's literally a spotlight. I think it's setting. Oh, it's, it's in a smooth. See, like this mode right here. This mode will run. It has so much light, like if you need it just to do an area, there's plenty of light. But yeah, we'll take it back in and wrap it up. Okay, you guys, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely, I, I like it. Um, it is short, 4,000 plus lum or 5,000 lumens, whatever. Um, but other than that, I'm very impressed with it. It's... Um, it's definitely brighter than the Astro looks, but I'm very happy with this too, with the new cells. So, um, at the end of the day, I do recommend this light, especially with the handle, because this body is really warm. If you have to use it in that turbo mode, you want to hold it with this. And like I said, you can use this as a power bank too, you guys. You can't even tell the L yeah, they're on the Gorgeous lights, both of them. 
highly recommend both of them you know it's not it's just great camping lights leaving your vehicle um i would honestly say more for enthusiasts you know like if you <laughs> just if you like going on hikes and it's a little heavy got a little weight but you know you got it in your bag just one of your extra little toys that you bring with um but yeah you guys uh i hope this helps you out um if you're on the fence about getting one i highly recommend it i even still recommend it it's still a good light too i'm not sure how much they're charging for these anymore i haven't looked them up but um i actually i paid the same around the same amount for these but this came with batteries this one didn't this one came with no batteries but yeah um appreciate you guys for tuning in god bless and i'll see you on the next one